Hey everyone, welcome back to The Tune Project or welcome if you're new. Today I'm gonna to be showing you three scales that are essential if you are first starting out on the violin or consider yourself to be a beginner. But before we get into all that, as always, I'll ask you to please give this video a like if you like it, subscribe if you have not already, hit the notifications bell if you'd like to be notified each time I post a new video, and let's get into it. So the first scale that I believe is essential for beginners, whether you are starting out on the violin and and wanting to get into fiddle styles, or if you're going more the classical route. Either way, this is a great scale to know and a great finger pattern to be familiar with. And that is the A major scale. So for this scale, we have three sharps, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. So those are the three that we'll be working with. And our finger pattern for this one is we have a whole step between B and C sharp, a half step between C sharp and D, and then a whole step between F sharp and G sharp, and a half step between G sharp and A. So the same exact finger pattern on both the A string and the E string. So that should be pretty simple to remember. And actually that finger pattern will be used in the rest of the scales that we'll be talking about today. So if you can remember that whole step, half step, you'll be in great shape. So let's go ahead and get started with this A major scale. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and play it once for you so that you can hear how it sounds, and then I'll play it a second time so that you can play along with me. So here we go. <laughs> So that's what the notes sound like. That's what the scale sounds like in general. If you're still not quite confident with your own intonation, meaning your ability to play in tune and place your fingers in the right spots, then I would recommend checking out my how to place finger tapes on the violin video that I made recently so that you know how to have those tapes on the fingerboard in the correct spots. And that way you have sort of a marker for your fingers and you don't have to think too hard about your finger placement for the time being as you're still learning and developing your ear. Obviously, tapes don't have to be there forever. You can take them off. They're sort of training wheels for this first phase as you're getting used to the violin, but they can be a really valuable tool in this beginning stage when we're first starting out and learning about these types of finger patterns. The placement of the finger tapes that I demonstrated in that video is the same as the finger pattern for each of these scales that we're talking about today. So if you think that that'd be useful to you, then be sure to check that one out. So now that you've heard the A scale and we've talked about tapes and the finger pattern that we have for this scale and all of that, let's go ahead and play it together. So we're gonna play half notes for this one, so two beats per bow, and I'll count us off to four. So one, two, three, four. <laughs> So that is our A major scale. You can practice going up and coming back down the scale as well so that you get used to the way that the notes sound and the finger pattern and all of that. Now let's move on to the second scale, which I believe is super important if you're first starting out on the violin, and that is D major. So for D major, we're gonna go down to the D string. We're starting on our open D. For this key of D major, we have two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. So we no longer have that G sharp that we did in the A major scale. The finger pattern is the same as I said earlier, so we have our whole step between E and F sharp on the D string, half step between F sharp and G, and then we move on to the A string. We have a whole step between B and C sharp and a half step between C sharp and D. So I'll go ahead and play this D major scale for you so you can hear how it sounds and then we'll play it together. <laughs> And now we'll do the same thing that we did for the A major scale, and we'll play each note using half notes. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So 
So that is our D major scale. Now moving on to the third and final scale, which I believe is so important for beginners to know is G major. And this is a really common key as well. Again, whether you are hoping to play fiddle tunes or classical pieces, it's a very common key for the violin. And for this key, we have one sharp and that's F sharp, but we have the same finger pattern as we did for the other two scales that we played today. So the notes for this one, we're starting on open G. So we have G, A, a whole step to B, half step to C, and then we go to open D, E, whole step to F sharp, half step to G. And this is how the G major scale sounds. <laughs> So now that you've heard it and are a little bit more familiar with the finger pattern at this point since we've played it twice, let's go ahead and play this G scale together. So we're starting on open G, I'll count us to four and we'll play using half notes. One, two, three, four. So those were the three scales that I believe to be so important for if you are a beginner on the violin. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it to be useful. As I said earlier, I would recommend practicing each of these scales going up and then coming back down as well so that you get a feel for how the finger pattern works both ways. I will have a link below to these scales in sheet music form that you can see and print out and practice with. So definitely check that out if you would find that useful. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Happy practicing. If you'd like to further your support of The Tune Project, be sure to head over to patreon.com slash The Tune Project for information on that. And if you're planning on buying any music or doing any shopping on Amazon, be sure to head over to The Tune Project website, which I link in the description box of all of my videos. Click my Amazon banner and whatever you purchase, a small percentage of that will go toward The Tune Project. This just keeps The Tune Project going and allows me to continue to create free content for you all.